Tom, uh, talk to us about the week that was at U.S. Cross Country Ski Championships. It, it was an awesome week. Uh, you know, the team skied great. We are so proud of these guys. You know, they showed up every single day and, uh, and had some amazing results. For the women to get the overall title for the College Cup, that was a true milestone for our program. Um, it just showed how strong of a team they are, you know. They're, they're the top team in the country right now, and that's a pretty damn awesome thing, especially as we go into our NCAA season here. Um, and for the whole program, you know, we had our, our, our men's and women's team combined get second overall in the College Cup. So that was great too, and just showing our overall depth on both sides of the squads. But uh, just every day we had great results, um, which was really, really exciting for us to see. You know, obviously these guys know these courses really well. They have the confidence to ski them, but you still have to show up and compete every single day. And, um, and it was just really great to see the maturity that they carried through the week and their ability to do that. Um, so I think that's gonna be just awesome momentum for every single one of our student athletes going forward through the rest of the season as well. Uh, what was it like hosting an event of this magnitude on your own trails? Yeah, it was it was a relief to get to start coaching, I'll put it that way, because uh, it's a lot to put on these events. And um, from a race organizing standpoint, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of preparations that go into it behind the scenes. and. We, I, I just am so thankful of the, of the support that we have from the athletic department and the university and all of our passionate volunteers from the race organizing committee volunteers to every single one of our volunteers. I think we had 75 volunteers out there this week and it took every single one of them to, to host this event. So um, we just can't thank all of them enough. And, and uh, you know, it's cool for me as a coach to be able to see both sides, to be able to help with the event. Um, uh, leading up to it but then to also be able to really shift gears um, when we get into the races and to know that we've got the team to support um, the race with our organizing committee and volunteers and that way we can then focus on the student athletes and really um, setting them up for the best opportunity for, for success and, and um, yeah I feel like we have that here at Michigan Tech it's a really unique environment and I'm just so stoked to be a part of that. What was it like to host so many top-level athletes, both collegiately and from various ski clubs, uh, organizations? Yeah, it's it's such a uh, honor to have all of these uh, competitors here on our tech trails, and and I think it was a really cool thing for a lot of our community members to be able to see that. You know, you have truly the very best skiers in the nation, and some of the best, for sure, in North America. Um, out here this week and you know, we had great representations from a lot of the Canadian national team members as well We even had the Mongolian Ski Federation here competing So, you know, there was over 450 competitors this week and they're every single one of the those competitors is is a top-level competitor They're they're here competing at a national championship for a reason It's because because they're at a really uh, a national caliber level and and um, and so it's it's really awesome to just have uh, have everybody be able to come together and to compete on uh, on our home trails um, in a national championship event and uh, and for us to be able to showcase what an amazing facility and trail system we do have here at Michigan Tech. So what's next for you? What's next for the team following the championships? Yeah, so we, we have a well-deserved break now that our championships is over. Um, the student athletes have the rest of winter recess on their own, so a few of them are going to travel a little bit but most of them are just going to lay low for a few days and then um, we will start the spring semester already can't believe it next week and then next week we'll also uh, next weekend um, after our bye weekend we'll travel to Mount Itasca in Minnesota for um, CCSA competitions.